All right, I'm preparing a marinated snake. Um, the other day, I had a bull snake, which is a type of gopher snake, um, in my care, and it uh, had been hit by a car, or, or at least uh, not totally run over, but just kind of swiped by the car. Um, anyway, it died in my care, and so um, I gutted it and uh, skinned it, and that's all on another video that I will um, link to in the comment section. But today I'm gonna I'm gonna cook it um, this evening, uh, just for a little something to eat. And I decided I'm gonna uh, marinate it. Um, I've cooked snake, you know, just straight away. Like you could you could just put a little bit of oil on it and roast it, and um, is you know the consistency. Um, and the flavor is much like a white meat from a bird, um, but a little bit stringier. Uh, so today I decided I'm going to add a little bit of flavor to it. I've made this uh, marinade, and it's made with, I think, probably three parts, um, three parts Thai peanut sauce, one part black bean sauce, one part um, soy sauce and um, half a part um, half a part of stir fry seasoning and half a part of wasabi um, of course you don't got to follow that recipe I've never this just an experiment with me I've never even tried that recipe for the marinade I'm just um, I just grabbed some things that I think thought would probably taste good together and uh, but you could make the marinade if you're doing this however you want you know with whatever ingredients you want um, I'm just gonna try it this way so I've got my snake in a bag this has been in the freezer for a couple of days since I um, had the snake and so I gotta thaw it out today but uh, while it's thawing it's also gonna be marinating so I'm just gonna pour the marinade into the Ziploc with the meat Maybe even add just a little, I got a lot of uh, sauce st still here, so I'll add just a little bit of water. The sauce rinsed around in that water. Put that in there as well. Alright, so, and try to. Uh, mix it in a little bit. I'll probably do a couple of times today. I'll come back and try to uh, mix it in a bit um, as the snake thaws. So I'm gonna zip, zip the ziplock back up. Set it in the sink, like so, and just let it um, thaw out for the day and marinate at the same time. And then uh, we'll get to the roasting part um, later on, uh, later on the afternoon or evening. Okay, so the bull snake has been marinating for uh, several hours now. We're in the evening. And I'm about to put it in the oven. This is what it looks like. It's in the marinade. And uh, just took it out of the Ziploc bag and put it in this Pyrex plate to cook. I have the oven on bake at 380 degrees. Um, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take. I'm going to um, put the timer on for about 15 minutes and then check and see how it's doing. And uh, we'll see if we have to go 20, 25 minutes. But um, the snake, you know, in general, it's not too thick. Um, it's kind of like cooking a fish. It might not take take too long. So, 
get it in the oven here. Slap on the timer. Oh. This timer's being sticky. There we go. And check back in 15 minutes. All right, the 15 minute chime just went off. I'm thinking that's way too short. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's not cooked yet. I can just see it already. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it in there another, I think, 10 minutes. should be done okay so it took 25 minutes to to uh, roast this snake really well I think it could have could have maybe even been 20 minutes and it had been okay uh, but better a little bit uh, overcooked than undercooked anyway 25 minutes um, at 380 degrees and this is the presentation that I've come up with I just I like I like corn and peas, so <laughs> I mix corn and peas with it. And we're going to give it a uh, taste test here. Put the, uh, the camera on for the taste test. The best, the best part of the snake is always the uh, back strap, of course. That's pretty much like all that a snake is, is back strap. So I just rip, rip a chunk off here. That, that's good bull snake. So I'm gonna sit down and um, mow out and chow down. <laughs>